had this uh, fabul fabulous show, Books and Big Bookmen. Mm. Uh, you want to tell me about the show? How uh, you know what was it about? How big did it become? I mean, how how important was it in this in our society? I read Books and Bookmen for 13 years at KBC every mm. week, mm. and we never missed a single week to run Books and Bookmen. Mm. Now. Um, I started, that was in 1990, and I started it with a gentleman called George Okode. George Okode had a passion for literature and for books. And uh, I did the, the concept, and then we recorded the, the first uh, show. Then after that, the guy said it is good, and then we went down to business. It was only not books and bookmen. We did culture talk, mm. 13 years. Books and bookmen, 13 years. Literature talk, 13 years. Uh, it was basically a matter of informing the public about new publications and reviewing them. Mm. And so for 13 years, I was immersed in just reading and reviewing books as part of just the many things that I do. Mm. I think we made our contribution because, you know, that time we only had one, at that time we had only one radio station broadcasting nationally and therefore the people had to tune into that. And I think we made a contribution because even up to now, when I meet people and I talk to people and I tell them my name, they say, oh, you are a books and bookman or something like that. So <laughs> I think we made a contribution. So even now I'm doing other things. But imagine, my name is actually just, you know, associated with books and books. I'm sure now it will become books and book people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's changed. Now, after that, uh, Kainga mm. came up with a concept called Books Cafe. Mm. That is now what is running. But it's not 13 years, that one yet. No, just a few years ago. We ran, we ran that from 1990. I was then a student, but people did not know. I was a student. So they actually thought I was some, I don't know, I think my voice also deceives people. But I was a youngster in my 20s. So people thought that hey, this guy with this kind of voice must be quite elderly. So when they meet me now, they ask, why does that? We expected something to be totally different because we were then kids, you know. But they didn't know that I was a youngster also. I also thought, I actually thought you'd be much older. <laughs> I'm really surprised when I saw you, met you, and you're like, I'm like, this is not somebody, you, I expected you to be in your 60s. You see, that's, that's what people expected. But then it was because I started this as a, as a youngster in my 20s. So what are you doing now, like, because uh, I know you're an academy, in academia, what, where are you in? I, I am a lecturer, and uh, at the moment I've been uh, a visiting scholar in Uganda on the Inter-University Council of East Africa um, uh, Staff Mobility Program. Mm. But I'm um, based at, at, at Masinde Mbiru University. I served as a Deputy Vice Chancellor for full term of five years up to 20, 2019. Mm. Then I went back to my job uh, as, a, as a lecturer, as a professor of literary communication in the Department of Journalism. Mm. You may be surprised. You may appear actually people think that I belong to the Department of Literature. Journalism. I belong to the Department of Journalism as a professor of literary communication. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for that.